Time for us to receive our guest, Roland Famundam. He is a Cameroonian entrepreneur and founder of Greenhouse Ventures, which is the first low-cost climate smart greenhouse farm in Cameroon. Welcome on set. Thank you for having me. Now tell us, Greenhouse Ventures is your creation and it is supposed to boost the agricultural sector in Cameroon. Tell us about this project. How do you do it? Well, uh, greenhouses, we introduced greenhouses in Cameroon. It's been over 10 years today. And the essence was introducing an innovative technology that would go a long way to improve productivity, increase the quality of, of food, and uh, most importantly, attract and engage the youths in, in, in agriculture. Uh, the world now is going towards second generation agriculture and Cameroon should not be left behind. So the greenhouse technology was brought in for that purpose. Now, how much input has been brought into the agricultural sector thanks to Greenhouse Ventures? Yes, as of today, we have been able to build over 300 plus greenhouses all around the national territory of Cameroon and even beyond. Uh, we have been able to cultivate a lot of uh, crops that usually were imported, uh, things like uh, bell peppers, strawberries, uh, spinach. Uh, cherry tomatoes and much more. Uh, we've also been able to introduce this form of agriculture which many youths are, are adhering to right now and um, it has gone a long way to not only in bringing the technology in the country but also uh, improving and increasing the quality of production of certain exotic products like we have them today. Now today there's a huge talk you know on the import export substitution uh, policy and the need for Cameroonians to consume homemade as an expert in the domain how do you think this can be effective It is it could be very very effective Cameroon is a blessed country uh, um, a country in which you can grow almost everything uh, I think what is lacking is the ability for Cameroonians to get themselves engaged in a form of agriculture which is not only profitable but very, very sustainable. I believe that if we can find the light in being able to go into the cultivation of a lot of these crops, then Cameroon will never need to import anything uh, from any other place. For example, what we have been able to do today in Cameroon, we have drastically reduced the importation of crops like colored bell peppers. Uh, we've drastically reduced the importation of things like cherry tomatoes, a strawberry, and much more. We are also even getting involved in the production of, of flowers, something that we normally would always import. So, I mean, this is just us doing it. I believe that if many more of us have been involved in something like this, it would go a long way to put Cameroon like ahead of the map. Now, away from running uh, the Greenhouse Ventures, tell us about the Africa Youth Action uh, project you started. How has the adherence been for Cameroonian youth and what work has been done so far? Yes, Youth Action Africa was created with a common purpose to uh, engage the youth towards uh, the knowledge of entrepreneurship. But not only the knowledge, it was also the practicability of entrepreneurship because we believe that uh, for us to move forward, we need to engage ourselves in creating solutions. But not any solutions, solutions that are culturally adaptable to our own local environments. Uh, today, many youths uh, are talking about that, many youths are part of that. We've gone a long way to train as many youths as possible, and there are so many youths who have gone on to start businesses in that domain. But uh, more especially, our particular focus has been in the domain of agri-entrepreneurship, because we believe that that is the base for, for, for growth in a country like Cameroon, where where we have a large uh, popula youth population, especially that, that which is unemployed. Uh, so we believe that uh, with more time and with more uh, communication and contribution from many others, we should be able to engage many more youths in the domain of agro-entrepreneurship as we already have it. And how can they be part of this project? I mean, what can they bring in concretely? Yes. Um, first of all, we have an academy where we attract and train a huge number of youths. Uh, not only training them, but also being able to enable them uh, create something upon upon completion of our program. And uh, yes, I think if you want to talk about what do they bring, is that creative aspect of them, because you know, uh, being alone, you don't you don't have your eyes and everything, but being with many more people, it is it gives it gives that broad based platform for us to be able to get more ideas, more solutions, and be able to conceptualize many more of them in the creation of sustainable ways going forward. Thank you very much, Roland Famundam. It was a pleasure having you with us today. Thank you.